see Tanna Comenda here and I have a fall layout to share with you today. Again, yes, because I love creating fall pages. And today I'm going to use those four pictures. They are about uh, three by four in size, uh, probably a little bit less because I created the frames around them. And I will be creating quite a busy background using those pattern papers from Cozy, uh, pattern, pad, uh, pattern papers pad from scrapbook.com. This is the exclusive product. Um, and it comes in this um, six by eight size and an A2 size, which is five and a half by four and a quarter of what I remember and I picked some patterns and as you can see I am randomly cutting it into the rectangles they are not in any specific size I'm just cutting them uh, by just eyeballing everything and I will be arranging them in the background so just cut whatever you want you can use some paper scraps if you have um, them on your stash I just am using uh, random uh, rectangles and you will see in a minute what what are we are needing them for and I chose a lot of patterns but also some solid colors because this paper pad has not only patterns but some solids and I love them for uh, die cutting like leaves and stuff like this so I'm just using two sides of uh, some of the papers uh, I didn't mention that the papers in a pattern uh, paper uh, pad are double-sided uh, I don't think so so they are and I'm creating kind of a waterfall feature from the left to the right. So I will be only adding glue on one edge of the uh, papers, only on the left. And I will be adding a little bit of dimension on the right. So they are kind of floating around, looking like a flap or something. Before I will start gluing everything down, I'm just trying to arrange my pattern papers and the pictures will be added on top of it uh, later so I'm first starting with arranging the background trying to mix solids and patterns and they are in a lovely fall color palette very warm and this is what I am <laughs> looking for right now so I'm just playing with pattern papers and I'm not adding a lot of white because I don't know white seemed like too white for this design but some of those will end up on my page because uh, again I cannot focus only on the dark as it will be just too dark so <laughs> we need to find a perfect balance here so at first as I mentioned I'm not gluing anything down uh, I'm just trying to arrange everything and when I'm ready I will start adding glue and well apparently I was ready at this moment and uh, the background paper will be filled with uh, paper so I will finish the whole page not only this part uh, but I decided it's time to glue one uh, part uh, because otherwise every time I touch the paper everything moves so I'm starting with the papers that are on the bottom and then I'm adding some uh, layers on top of them and again as you can see I'm only applying glue on the one edge of each paper and I'm using 12 by 12 craft cardstock for the background of this page. Uh, I don't know, I just like <laughs> this color for fall. It screams fall to me. And uh, later when everything will be glued down, I will add some dimension to those uh, uh, flaps. I don't know how to call, it, call them differently, but as you can see, you can easily leave them and add another from, uh, from the bottom. And then I will be moving to the right side of my background paper, just adding uh, scraps of the paper. Uh, so just cut it out this part. Uh, of the video so <laughs> you will not watch me adding uh, layers and layers and layers and this is the part where I am adding some dimension as you can see you can easily lift those squares so I'm just adding one a square of uh, foam tape um, to lift those flaps and create a little bit of dimension on my page and I will also add my pictures into the mix so it seems busy and it's busy but this is what I wanted to achieve some sort of patchwork I don't know <laughs> I just like the idea so I played with it 
and um, I'm using uh, phone squares, but you can use phone tape, whatever you have on hand. Uh, I just had those uh, and they were the easiest to use. And I'm gluing everything uh, down. And of course, I need to remember that there will be photos there somewhere <laughs> later. And I think I think it would be better to add photos first and then add dimension, but I wasn't thinking clearly apparently. So I will need to <laughs> unstick some of them. And I'm arranging my pictures here and there. I have two vertical and two horizontal. And again, the pictures are also glued down only by the edge, not by the whole uh, design. And as you can see, some of them are on top, but some of them are a part of the layering and a part of this sort of design. Mm, so uh, all of my pictures are glued down and this is me <laughs> ripping off the square. So as I mentioned, it would be better for me to just add the squares first and add the photos first and then add the squares. But it's not like always like this. I make a lot of errors and uh, when I'm scrapbooking, I like to go back, redo things. You only see the simple version edited for the video, not the struggle. I will be adding my title. It will be fall and I'm using those wonderful and big uh, alpha stamps from scrap.com and I will be creating word fall, but I only have one L. So I need to stamp F A L first and add the second L later. And I'm priming the stamps because two of them are still new and I'm using embossing ink to uh, stamp with them and I will be adding white embossing powder and I will hit emboss everything because I want it to uh, kind of stand out more and when stamping on uh, craft paper it's not so easy. So I'm using uh, my heat gun to seal the um, embossing powder and I will be stamping uh, the last letter and, and then I will fussy cut all the letters. They are easy to fussy cut because they have like this very uh, straight edges. They are not rounded so it's easy uh, to cut them out. And of course there is another uh, stamp set that match with this one. This one is outlined only and the second one is a filled is the solid letter so you can layer them and I made a card well actually two cards using those letters uh, in the way they were intended with layering well not intended but can be used with layering mm, but this time i just wanted to have the outline uh, and i wanted to have this craft paper uh, visible so i'm uh, drawing the another L letter and I'm ready to cut them out with just my scissors. I just need to hide <laughs> um, and clean my desk from embossing powder. And this is how it looks uh, after it's all dry and uh, uh, ready. So I need to fussy cut those letters. I'm using my precise scissors. They are my favorite. They are from We Are Memory Keepers. Well, now it's it's a different name. I keep forgetting it, but those are quite old and well loved scissors. So I just need to cut down and this will be the title. It will be just fall because the page is busy already. But thanks to the white outline, you can see how the letters stand out from this very busy background. All the patterns I used, all the colors I used, the scrapped paper with white outline, it's still like, you know, <laughs> Uh, something different so it stands out from the background and I will of course use some uh, double-sided foam adhesive to add them to the background because you know I like uh, having things uh, in dimension and the last letter it will be L and I need to mention this uh, because it's not a lot of video left for me to comment that I don't know how I did it, but I forgot to record part of the video where I am adding some embellishments here and there. So you won't see me doing so, but I need to mention I use those cozy, uh, no, it's a full foliage, cozy foliage uh, dies from scrapbook.com, cut it out in four different colors. So I will use them to embellish my page. But I will also use some random uh, embellishments, stickers and stuff like from 
Pebbles Simple Stories from the very old collections. I just went through and found something that would match my fall theme. I don't think you can purchase them anywhere anymore. I just wanted to uh, add something different than leave something for a little bit more interest. So uh, you will see me <laughs> decorating only this part with leaves and then magically uh, there will be more embellishments and you will not know where did they came from. Well, this came from my stash, from all over my stash. I honestly cannot pinpoint you to any specific item. Uh, those I remember I used pebbles and uh, simple stories collections the pebbles with gnomes I think it's like five six or maybe seven years old collection so I'm sure you will not be able to purchase it anymore but I'm also adding those leaves for my, more uh, texture and um, yeah sip of coca-cola because I'm addict <laughs> And this is almost it. You will not see me adding anything more uh, outside those leaves, but I did add some, as you can see, house, camera, uh, some rainbows. So this is how the finished page look. Uh, and again, it was a very simple thing to just glue down some stickers. Here is the finished layout. I really like how it turned out. Even though it has a lot of busy patterns, it looks kind of i don't know <laughs> i just like it uh, here are some other videos you may like check the check the description box for the list of materials i used and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to never miss any new video thank you so much for staying with me and bye bye